Yes, hi. So I want to talk about a little experiment that did this spring about generating UI with C++ Boost and Qt. And um, so, yeah, so I, want, I still try to combine modern C++ with Qt, but if you use Qt, it's usually, well, you know. So um, one of the reasons that is uh, you cannot combine templates with QObject. So if you derive from QObject, templates are out of the door, and uh, generic programming is basically getting useless then, and that's really not what we want. So what what if, you know, I know there's Copper Spice, but also there's now a library uh, which is called Vedigris, which just does what the mock does in C++14 very via uh, the constant expression things which are available through C++14, and it's just a simple drop-in replacement with a few macros and a little bit other things. It's still, you know, it's not, still not nice and beautiful, but it does its job, and you get rid of the mock, and you actually have templated uh, cute classes like templated models. So um, now my my current idea is like I auto generate uh, UI based on Boost Fusion at abstract. I did also use this to play around with Boost MP11, which was released this spring, and uh, I'm kind of working on a library which uh, then generically provides cute models, uh, simple helper classes, and UI views uh, for types and nested types. Um, so simple thing with uh, Fusion, if you play around a little bit, uh, you get to uh, have nice things like um, you can just, this is just extracting the names of all members and um, you nicely pack this into uh, an std array and just call for each via boost mp11 and just ask Fusion for every ne member name and you return that easy. Um, but then, if I want to generate UI, I have to kind of have a connection between uh, what the data member is and what the control is. And for that, I currently use tags because the string just can be so much other things or an int. And so I apply tag uh, tax dispatching. And this is like for a simple, this is like how, how this looks like when the actual class then is written. Uh, this is an edit dialog which can edit any boost fusion adapted type um, and then just displace them in, in a list. Um, and then you'd simply have a make dialog function which uh, just gets a type and returns the generated uh, value of that dialog. So any type which is adapted can just have an edit dialog now. And this is like very, very useful if you have like an option type or something. Um, yeah, and the tech dispatch is then just simply uh, every, you know, tech dispatch overload and then return, uh, returns a Qt type. Um, I'm currently using Qt. This could be very easily adapted to any other UI libraries so where you could auto-generate your uh, code with actually something which is like more modern than Qt, but Qt is the default in many industries and that's also what I use. And um, yeah, so this is currently a prototype. Um, the Qt models were creating UI views. Uh, works and um, um, yeah, so why I do this is like I want to write less boilerplate. I would just want to have like a type which is adapted and some template things which do the work in the background for me instead of me just adding a, a new data member, then adding a new control and so I kind of having to name this thing again in the in, in the dialog and then have maybe a view to display this, et cetera, et cetera. I just want to be able to, you know, kind of uh, see what I can do with a reflected type is out waiting for reflection and Boost already has a reflection very minimal built in. Just have to do it a bit by hand, but I actually can have some nice code which is ready for reflection when we have that in C++23, I heard. Um, and yeah, so this is going to be continued. I'm working on that. Hope that I might have a, like a, more than a prototype soon. Gonna defi definitely show some more code in my conference. And um, with that, I have 30 seconds left. Um, so one of the big problems I see for my own code base with this is um, that the code which, which, which I now am able to write is so alien to the cute code I wrote prior to, to that. Um, is very simple, pretty hard to, to combine it with everything. So I basically often have to now the choice to, to rewrite my whole application with that or just don't use it. Um, so as I'm currently figuring out 
how to combine that with old code. 